Howdy. Okay, testing, testing, one, two, one, two. You Blue. fail. Blue. Yes. What yes, you failed two? the test. You know, I should be unfriending people while I do this. No, I'll never talk to you. Okay, you suck, unfriend. You suck, unfriend. You don't suck as much as the others, unfriend. Oh god, I remember this butthole. No. I'm quite sure that you don't even know half the people you're friends with. On Skype? Yeah. Uh, you know what, if we had the time. <laughs> and that was not that time. <laughs> I, I might be able to win that. You know me some pretty ballsy bullshit Josh Scorch is actually on right now. <laughs> Just grab him and chuck his ass right in the damn room. <laughs> you're not gonna, do you want to invite... You're not gonna you insult, invite like, yeah, you're not going to insult ANY's number one fan. You're not going to be a douche, are you? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's, that really tempts me. <laughs> keep do you want to invite Keyframe and then drop her at the last minute? Uh... I'm still quite butthurt at that. I'm gonna ask Midnight Chimes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking he's oh nice. yeah, he's never. Oh yeah, he's never been on a limbo before. Yeah, yeah, he's not. Oh, let's see, stupid, stupid on. Oh, oh, he is. Oh, holy fuck. Oh god. <laughs> I don't think I've ever met Stupid Private. Yeah, he's he's good people. His content yeah. is yeah, <laughs> but he's a good person. <laughs> yep. I'm trying to think of like there's two people in limbo that I keep getting mixed up. It's okay. Cameron yeah. and someone else who sounds just like Cameron. Oh. Death Alchemist, yeah, uh, he's alright. Yeah, I, I get him mixed up with... <laughs> I can't find him now. Disposable Minion 356. Let's see. Is it Midnight Fenrir, I think? I get oh! Him mixed up with... No, they're fairly different. It's the Their voices are, like, really very similar to me. Oh, um, so. Deckard? No, I mean, Deckard, is it, you get him confused with Cameron, because to me, those two sound alike. No, I, I, I can tell Deckard. I think it's Midnight, Fenrir, and uh, Cameron who I get mixed up. You know what? I'm not sure I'm Ryan. Maybe Ryan's on. Nope, you're a faggot. Ryan. Oh, God. <laughs> I would have been going on for that. Damn it all. Fuck. Goddamn British time zones. You know, sometimes this extended thing. Eh, but Bernie Notion of a friend to me, that's fine. <laughs> Do you have another British person you could ask? Pedley. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Let's see. Oh, god. Even on. She's on! <laughs> Do you know what? I will even find that funny. Oh, oh I forgot Ed was here. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just, I was gonna start saying, come on, Doc Edge, you can do a lot worse. Oh, Jesus, I'm so sorry. I should stop talking right now. <laughs> I, I, I did do worse for a while. Remember, I dated Sapphire. You know, I'm not gonna go anywhere near that. <laughs> Excuse me, I think I dated someone a lot worse than you. Do we need to take this outside the call? Oh, you know, no, no, no. Okay, look, you know what? <laughs> Let's skip past the intro. We'll, we'll, when we, we, we do get going, we'll, we'll compare notes and who's dated the worst person. <laughs> this, this is Dark Edge semi colon my ex sucks podcast. <laughs> oh, oh no! If if you were joining in, Anthony, you would win because you dated Fallen. Uh. <laughs> Fuck you! There's no contest. We're doing the thing. Oh god, who are you ask? Ah, uh, it's common. Oh, all right, cool. Common oh, yeah. weird. Common would be a good one because me and him share quite a few things. Like we like the same sort of stuff. Yep, you're both birds. You're both yes. Oh, there's... Well, well, I mean, I'm the only full bird. Yeah. Oh, I, I think Cloud would fucking he'd take you on for that shit. Uh, <laughs> he'd well, fight you for that. Cloud is technically half bird because his OC is an anthropomorphic bird. I am gonna timestamp the fuck out of that. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, if he doesn't oh, answer. Wait, you recording already? Oh, baby, yes, yeah. sir. No, that's not going out anywhere. Are you kidding me? Dark Edge <laughs> literally says he is the only full bird in the internet. <laughs> Not just Brony. <laughs> oh no no no! Uh, I am I'm the only Brony bird. I'd ask Ian why, but a lot of these I'd lose all my questions again. I did that last time when I had him on. I was like, I can't ask all my Jagoff questions now. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, ah, yeah. Ed, Yo. <laughs> is your girlfriend open? Because I've got her on my friend list. <laughs> Nah, uh, Crimson's on, um, yeah. she's, uh, doing a course at the moment. Oh, thank god. Uh, oh, that would've been weird. I don't know. I probably would've blown that somehow. But... To be perfectly honest, okay, um, you're not- are you recording right now? No, I wasn't gonna drag her in. Oh, yeah, I am right. recording. Oh, oh, what were you about to say? I'm just saying that if me and Alyssa, when we're in the calls, concentration goes straight out the window. I will say that right now. No, no, I- I understand that there's- there's some relationships, you know, we're freaking- you, you, you know, you, you bounce well off of each other and shit. 
Yeah, I mean, I love it to pieces, but if you want, I mean, obviously this isn't going to be like a serious sit down, let's interview kind of thing, but you won't get a lot, you'll have a lot of editing to do, let's put it that way. Oh, okay. Just cut the editor out completely. Exactly. (laughs) That'd be too lovey-dovey. I was, about, I was about to say they have one brain cell between them, and when they get together, it magically disappears. <laughs> you're, not, <laughs> you're not completely wrong there. Oh, God. I don't see editor, okay. I was about... I, I almost screwed up and asked, added Nero Nova. Oh, not that motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, no. I'd, I'd say Geeky's, Geeky's talking in the ref. Oh, that's I'd... a thought. Here, you know, I was just about to say, Seth is online. <laughs> He'd probably leave and unfriend me pretty fast. <laughs> 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 is that uh Seth? Yep, that's that's the Seth. Seth. Yes, yes, yes. That's Trixie. Oh, oh second. boy, I'd have a few words to say to him. <laughs> oh god, I can't stand a question daily. Oh Jesus, cancer of the fandom. Oh, okay, I'm leaving that in. <laughs> 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 the thoughts and opinions of the guests do not necessarily reflect the thoughts and opinions. Re- remember, follow everything you say in this podcast, Ken, yeah. it will be used against you. Oh, absolutely. Are Pro- you goddamn problem kidding? is, it's the only MLP website that's popular out there that has actual, like, new stuff. So it's the only one I can use. Let's see. Geeky. I'll just check his ass in here. He could leave it on like it. Who the hell's asking? Fucker, pick up. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is Moonlight Quill? That's that's Geeky Steven, I think. No, no, I've already got Geeky in my uh, contacts. Did did I add a Moonlight Quill? No, Moonlight Quill just sent me a contact request. Is it from the room? Uh, no, it's not from the room. I look. I think I know Moonlight. I'm not sure. I think it's Takara Pivs. Uh, it's uh, oh. t- it's a uh, teal OC uh, red eyes um, aquamarine uh, main style. Yeah, that's Takara's uh, boyfriend. Hmm. How do they know me? Uh, don't know. You get ready to kick Steven if he didn't pick up. Mm-hmm. Sure, give me a second to get to my desktop. Solid! That totally <laughs> wasn't about to kick you. <laughs> <laughs> welcome welcome to the Limbo Podcast, and straight away we're kicking E.G. Steven. It's a good day. Oh, sorry. I, I almost got Vita, but he said his dick is out, so he, you get the dick. <laughs> Well, I mean... Well, at least he's honest. I just told him that made the podcast. <laughs> oh, you shut up, I'm trying to masturbate over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a lot more fun uh, than I should be. That we'll probably get the timestamp as well. You know what? I'm, I'm going to stop the recording to just to see where the waveform is. One second. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Geeky. Hey, 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 What's up? We're Welcome to where we praise a chicken. Praise me. We're, we're checking the audio. Really. Praise be your God. Indeed. No. The chicken. No. You. you, you. <laughs> yes. Just, just no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I think I'm a touch too loud. Better turn my shit down. Bye, Geeky. But now it's too late to back out. No. Yep. <laughs> Rogal Dawn. Praise be your God. Alright, I'm gonna leave that in two. <laughs> this is Praise gonna be, be fun. God. Yeah, oh, the freaking the pre show that's all staying in two. <laughs> is that what you're gonna name it? Uh, Timestamp, shut up, I'm trying to masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'll lose my monetization because of the, the new YouTube policies. <laughs> you, you missed it, Geeky. We were just about to get Ed to say a bunch of incriminating things about his girlfriend. He's like, Are you recording? I was like, Maybe. <laughs> I'm not saying anything incriminating. I'm saying both of us together, you'd never get a single bit of solid conversation out of us. Oh my gosh! Part of me would have loved to be here for that. I, Holy I, shit! You know what? If I if that's the case, I, I definitely want to get you on, and I'll have like Kichi there, and you guys are all getting all snoopy whoopy when I know and freaking Rosie are doing it. I have Kichi oh, in the background going grrr. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Can we make that a deal? If I ever get a Kingo Limbo, get Rosie, I know, me, Crimson, and Kichi together just to see her cringe. Oh, god damn it. That's going to be a fucking nightmare to edit. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but don't you... That's not don't King of Limbo, that's worth. King of Cutters. 
But think of viewing figures, it'll go through the roof. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to do the <laughs> intro. Geeky Steven, you're now an American blue blood, so we can make this a Eurocast. This is FNGR, <laughs> the Spanish Inquisition, for this European edition of King of Limbo. Joined by the following co-hosts, the editor... Talio, you fuckers. Yeah, that was a pretty good Jeff. Uh, <laughs> joined by <laughs> Tricky Fox. Guten Tag. Indeed. Geeky Steven. Insert a stereotypical German accent here. I can't do it. Indeed, pip pip cheerio. And this week, try a French accent, you idiot. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you you had no one wants to job. be. No, nobody wants to be French. Even yeah, less people. Everybody can do his French accent. And and even less it's people want to do. Want to have a French accent. And even less people want to do a French-Canadian accent or a French-Canadian brony. That's a shout-out to our good yeah. friend over in the Great White North. You know who you are. Mr. <laughs> we'll eventually get to this week's guest eventually. <laughs> See, at least fucking editor can do it. Yeah. This week's... You don't go cry. ahead. I, I, I've always meant it to get to Dark Edge just because I remember during his podcast on the PFC, I was like, I know there's about good 15 minutes of footage if they would edit it down and Sheldon just threw it right in the trash. And I was like, oh, that's a dick move. I'll do right by you one day. And that day, a year later, has finally come this week's <laughs> King of Limbo, Dark Edge. Wait, Dark Edge is King of Limbo? I'm gone. <laughs> no, no, editor, get... Fuck back here. <laughs> it would have been funny if they all would have hung up, I would have left the sound effect in. <laughs> <laughs> you really should have, editor. That would have been awesome. So, yeah. He's like, I Today's thought Ain't King- was showing up. What was this bullshit? <laughs> the verify thinks, yes, today's King of Limbo is all about a purple cock. Indeed. For, for once, I'm actually turning out for a podcast. <laughs> yeah, I know. Are you really that kinky oh, yeah. hell? Dark Edge, you've had your channel since 2013. What has yes. been the pinnacle of your work? Oh, it's going to have to be Blame A and Y. All right, then. Isn't it? <laughs> well, that's become, like, a video video meme. Sorry. Yeah. 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 So that makes sense. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, on that side, don't have a wonderful segue. What's your biggest mistake as a brony? I, I, you, you glitched. I think I know <laughs> yeah, what you meant. <laughs> Can't you stop glitching out on your own podcast? <laughs> God, even when you get him into a podcast, he can't do it right. Hell, what's that to do with this? Not even nice. A and Y. All right, he said, "Blame me and Y, people." Okay, you're supposed they, you're supposedly going to BronyCon next year. Is there anyone that you're concerned about meeting? Me. Is it a and Y. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? If we if we all meet up there I next year, I wish I was going to BronyCon. I'm not. Oh, that sucks ass. Oh, I would have bought you a drink at the pub. Fuck that shit. No, you'd have walked in the bar and I said, "Your money's no good here." <laughs> well, yeah, it's it's a mix of not having a job and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, mostly in. <clears throat> well, I'll you never know. Be able to stay at con that Crown Prince did. That sucks. Or this year, whatever. <laughs> if you could tell someone in the fan who isn't having, who isn't fun to watch anymore, who who would it be? If, Ooh, <clears throat> if if you isn't could, fun to watch anymore. Yeah, if there's someone who isn't fun to watch anymore, um, who who would that be? Well, that's a tough one. <laughs> can I do? Can I do? Can I do oh, multiple fucking options? I was about oh, yeah, no, no, I, absolutely. I was about to say, Dark well, Edge, you're not connected I'm, to anybody that's gonna really burn you on. <laughs> I mean, I, I and if can't everything say goes Lion wrong, because I never watched hers. I really? Can't say Doctor Wolf because I I never watched it. I was like moment just so i could steal it for my own series <laughs> well you never watched Dr. I, Wolf. I don't really watch anyone in the fandom in the fandom anymore to be honest the only people i watch are the limbo podcasts anthony c yeah. and that's about it well i appreciate it i thought you said you used to watch how not to brony instead of the podcasts <laughs> i used to, i watch how not to brony the podcasts that's about it there you go then. yeah Indeed. How much time do you put into making Dr. Fowl, on average? There's the time that I spend writing it with the person, then, I, then I'll then i get the audio, and then, like, in about hour, half hour, I'll edit it together, and then I'll just stick it straight up, so not very long. Indeed. So, when, I, when, is, the next, when is the next moment with Dr. Fowl coming? Oh, yeah, God. Um, <laughs> I have, to one, ask. It's I have like one written with Stardust, times. but I'm not sure when Stardust going to be able to get her audio to me because I don't know what happens with her life now. Um, I have never actually seen a moment with Dr. Fowl yet. It's it's an experience, friend. It, 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 it... I do better with little effort what Dr. Wolf does with a lot of effort. 
Well, that's set the bar pretty low, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... When I watch yeah. your stuff, you seem to have, like, a mindset, both in your character and, like, just how you work, that just says, fuck it, I'm just gonna go balls to the walls with this bullshit. <laughs> and that's that's always been him, too. Like, from beginning yeah. to end. <laughs> I... I absolutely agree. I think it's a lot better when when you don't care about stuff as much and not take yourself as seriously because then people like get behind you easier. I mean, at, at the moment, I'm trying to force like a, a serious story into it. So, but yeah, other than that, I just go. Fuck wow! It. If I mean with serious that movie script we have written, I wouldn't call that serious. <laughs> I, I I noticed you had a Undertale right. parrot. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Well, anyways, I'll, I'll re-ask. I noticed you have an Undertale parody, and there's uh, some art from Grey on there. Uh, Grey Cat Silverman. How much did that run you? So I didn't get the question. Like, you you were cutting it out for me. Okay. You you got some artwork from Grey Cat Silvermain for your Undertale parody. How much did that run you? One of my poses. Um, One of the poses that I got from Grey, I paid 20, 30 bucks, I think. I can't remember exactly. Jesus. For the for the for the Doctor Foul poses, and then I just edited them myself to look like D- Undertale like character sprites, mm-hmm. and then the rest I did all the art. Oh, the nice. rest of it, it was just that that one bit. Well, this what? is this is very important here. You saying this day in, in Aria is a chicken? Some prime time stuff there. Were, were you high or just inebriated when that happened? Yeah. <laughs> I was <Jesus>. bored. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe I recorded the This Day Aria and the Flim Flam Brothers at the same time. Because I did the Flim Flam Brothers under the guise of the chicken and the pony as separate characters. Yeah, yeah. So you go from actual singing to clucking. Oh I studied this. <laughs> I'll have you know today. <laughs> I could have been talking to my girlfriend, but I was sitting there looking at Dark Edge cluck like a chick. I am so sorry, Katie. <laughs> Okay, now that question. Why a chicken? A while ago, like, it's near to the start of my channel. I was in a group. I used to watch Ian Way do his editing on his live streams on Twitch. And they had a Skype group going, so I joined it. And, like, a few months into that Skype group, they started this roleplay family thing where um, someone was the dad, the mom, and then the kids. And I joined in late, so I ended up being the pet. And I couldn't really be a pet pony, could I? So <clears throat> I became the pet chicken because Jade the Yoni Pony, who used to be in the analysis fandom, she has pet chickens. So I just became the pet chicken, and it just stuck. This is uh, kind of a question that's <clears throat> that's been racking around in me since we began this, because... Foul, I uh, mean, you have known each other for like two years, and I feel like since I've like gotten to know you, you've sort of uh, changed personality-wise. Do you feel that way too? Like, no, 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 there used to be that big thing where I would touch everyone's butts, but then I stopped that. You got away with that way too damn long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, even I noticed it began to get creepy, so I stopped. I forgot somebody was. Co- <laughs> we, we, I used to remember being in the mod chat, and I was talking about them putting up with crap, and I was like, well, everyone's learned to get up with Dark Edge touching people's butts, and then Eliora started screaming about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, on second thought, Dark Edge, maybe you shouldn't go to Brony Con, she'll probably remember that shit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm shit. coming for you. I'm coming for you. <laughs> yeah, but I don't feel I've changed personality that much. What's the laziest video you've ever done? The Chicken Gate one. Okay. Yeah. The chicken game. Where I yeah when when you said I should when we were in a limbo call you I think you said something about oh you, uh, that I should get really angry at people for eating chicken or talking bad about chickens and start up chicken gate so I just threw up a video of a scootaloo chicken spinning round it was that was the laziest video and that was literally it well there's there's that, some kind of yeah. poker thing going on in that too well. Conversely, what's the most work you've ever put into a video? Most work would have to be the Undertale parody, because I had to practically program my own game to make that thing work. Oh, God. Yeah. Imagine the headache you got from that. I I couldn't figure out how to do typewriter-like text in in a video editing software. So I was just like, fuck it, I'll look up tutorials in a game making program on how to do that and just program the game myself and play it through the uh, game making program, uh, Multimedia Fusion 2. Nice. 
and I just ended up making the whole thing in Multimedia Fusion 2, then going into uh, my video editing software and adding the audio over the top of that. All right. Now, this is a question actually based off of something you said in a call once you may or may not remember this. If you could kick one brony right in the chest, who would it be and why? Oh, God. Do you know who I'm talking about? I can't wait. For no, this. I don't know. Oh, I can't yeah. remember who you're talking Well, he, he is a British <laughs> brony. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have I have I said that before? You did in the middle of some like I think he was creeping out Sapphire or something like that. I was like, I'm gonna go up to that kid's house. I don't care how old he is. I'm gonna kick him right in the chest. <laughs> I'll laugh my ass off. Because <laughs> Dark Edge is usually not an angry person. You were pissed off. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. Back then, yeah, it would be British Brony. <laughs> Nowadays, there's too many to list. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay, then top person you want to do right now. Ooh, um... <laughs> Say it. Uh, Say it and it will be glorious. <laughs> like, I, I, I have to go with Lightning Bliss. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't yes. stand it. The, the thoughts and opinions of Dark Edge do not reflect the thoughts and opinions of Limbo Podcast. <laughs> Turn on the rotisserie chicken. Turn on oh, rotisserie oh, chicken. Jesus. Now, really, what's your problem with Blissy? Oh, I'm not going to add. You know what it is? I think he's angry that she's competing for, like, the shortest OC in the fandom. <laughs> No, it's more she's loud and obnoxious, and every time she joins a call, I have to hold my headphones like a meter away from my head. I'm not gonna lie, that was the first impression I got when I was talking to her, and I was like, "Mm." but it, you know, (laughs) it's changed a bit since then. I don't mean, I'm I'm the type of person who listens to heavy metal all the time, so I can handle loud noises. Lightning Bliss is on a whole other level. That's, it's a bit more squeaky. There's, there's two different kinds of loud there. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get to the, the questions that you were concerned about here. What's the oh, most God. What's the most fucked up fan fiction you've ever written? Oh, <laughs> oh, was... No, I, I have a I story about this. Free. We we were in the PFC, I... and, and Sheldon yeah. was talking about fucked up fan fictions, and he's reading this god awful. We're like, stop, shut the fuck up. We don't want to hear it anymore. He's like, is is this by Dark Edge? I'm like, no. And we took it to you, and you're like, yeah, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I've written three fucked up fan fictions. Uh, oh. There was the Toon Critic one, which is the most recent one. Mm-hmm. Only gets fucked up near the end. There was. Uh, I think ne- that's a ne- for most critics, so. Yeah, there was Necrophilly Jack, mm. which is Falcon Necrophilia fanfic. That, that was the one that Sheldon found, if I am I. Am- uh, He's free to correct me in the comments so section. Many levels. Yeah. And then there was the sequel, Ballistic Scootaloo, which is between, I think, Rainbow Dash and Scootaloo. All right. Then. I think and I've it, read that one. <laughs> and it ends up, I, I planned it to be a trilogy, but I ended the second one with a zombie apocalypse, so I don't know how I'm going to continue it. <laughs> so. uh, a curious question. The fan fictions you wrote, have have any of them been meant to be taken as legit? I think one of them was it the uh, ne- necrophilia Jack one that made was it make you cry or Sheldon cry, Anthony? I don't know. But I know we were done with it. We're like you have to remember that was a sturdy room. We yeah, were, we were fairly durable people. <laughs> because there's there's always this like one thing that we write where we're just like at the time we're like this is the best shit ever, and then five years like later we look back on it and say oh my god what was i thinking geeky the rest of us knew what it was i don't know what freaking I mean, dark edge did <laughs> i mean the first one was bad but i topped it with the second one like send it to me sometime i want to see that oh, I, will, I will i'll send it to you oh, after please please i'll yeah. post it in the in this room after the podcast i'll definitely so be leaving that room. for links all right I, I will not be linking that story gentlemen <laughs> <laughs> 8chan will be all over my ass they're like oh look what you know did it I'm like no 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 this individual and his you know thing are over there and I'm over here so anyways yeah. they is do, it, they is, do not reflect limbo yep yeah, yep yeah. is it true that you wrote a fic where Toon Critic was cucked by a train <laughs> you too yes. motherfucker it won his contest most cringy okay <laughs> He he had sex with a train, got pegged by it. Then at the end, he had a kid with it and got cucked by it. <laughs> it's heavily insinuated that he gets cucked by it, but it isn't said in the story. Well, was well, Alec Baldwin's gold dust involved in it at any point? Well, let's, <laughs> let's 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 have a moment here that that Dark Age is very much about you know subtle innuendo than being straightforward. 
He's not called the purple car for nothing. I, I, I very specifically said that the train looked like a black and red motorcycle with sidecar. <laughs> because it sounded edgier. Wait, wait uh, describe that to me again. The train was a black and red motorcycle with a sidecar. And the wheel of the sidecar was one side of the tracks and the motorcycle was the other. So how the fuck is it a train? It, because I said it's a train in the story. <laughs> oh, all right. It rides on tracks. <laughs> I have a more interesting question. Did you feel triggered when Applejack pretended to be a chicken in season six? I can't remember. Remember that what you... Uh, Applejack's oh, yeah, day off, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. I can't remember that episode at all. Oh, okay, I guess not. Uh, Good season, for you. I think That's season six terrible. blurred together for me. I can't blame you. Yeah. Was the I think, I think British Ninja episode? remembers that one a lot more than we did. You were saying Dark Age? Yeah, there's Dungeons and Discords in six, season six. Yes. 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 And that was yeah, that was the only episode I actually cared about. All right, honest. then. Oh, yeah. shit, out of 25 of them. I liked the other episodes, but I mean, Dungeons and Discord's my favourite one out of them. The man answered and answered. If he feels comfortable with that, that's fine. <laughs> of, of all the various bird people on YouTube, between Manga Common, Cloud Cuckoo Country, and Silver Quill, who do you feel owes you a debt? I mean, a real debt of dollar and cents. The need to be paid on a monthly, if even a weekly stipend for all that you've done for the community. I mean, I like Carmen, so I'm not going to pick him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Silver Quill's a lost cause ever since Silver Quill did. Yeah. Cloud Cuckoo doesn't even do brony stuff anymore, really. Yeah. It was always books. It's, um, it's it's funny about that. He's he's still got mostly freaking bronies on his related tags, even yeah. though yeah, he can't get away from it. Is there any other bird bronies other than those three? I can't recall mm. actually. Um, I think I might have to pick Silver Quill. <laughs> All right then, you heard it, Manga. There's another person you owe money to. <laughs> I, I said Silver Quill, not Manga. Oh, I thought I said Silver Quill. There you have it, Silver Quill. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Yeah. Start breaking that page. Start writing that check, buddy. There, there was always that one um, headcanon where in Silver, one of Silver Quill's videos, he said his grandfather was his great grandfather was a chicken. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then he got beer battered. Uh, and the, <clears throat> he said that the grandfather got beer battered, but the great grandfather was a chicken. So I always had the headcanon that Doctor Fowl was Silver Quill's grand great grandfather. <laughs> How would you make analysis great again, Dark Edge? Cut out all the smarts and just make it comedy skits. Okay. <laughs> no, that, that, no, that would be terrible. Ouch. Um, Don't do that. You hurt me. I, I think a lot of the people that do it now do it okay. Yeah. It's just that uh, I've, I personally have lost interest in analysis. Who, with time in the fandom, turned into the most unlikable penis? <laughs> yeah, there are. Who's the biggest Personally, to me, yeah? I, there's a lot of people that I don't like. Well, no, no, no. There, there, there's somebody you originally liked that they've now become. Ooh. Yeah, Damn, it's there's, a little bit harder now, isn't it? Yeah. There's three specific ones uh, that come to uh -oh. mind. I used to like Gibbon. I used to think I was a friend of his. Oh, Tex, right. definitely Tex, because, like, just out of nowhere, he randomly deletes me on Skype and doesn't respond to anything. And Blind Skywatcher, because I haven't heard from him for, me, for ages. Last time I heard from him was with a lot, load of drama with Sweet Up and Analysis that I'd rather not get into. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Uh, yeah, it, it shook me up for, uh, like, a week, and then I got over it because he's a cuck. <laughs> What, how how long ago was that? Was that during like oh, the, the the first rift or what? It must have been Looney Turtle Rift. Again, yeah, it was Looney one? Turtle Rift that it happened. The whole drama stuff happened with. So during a males or what? Yeah, hmm? uh, Looney during oh. Looney Turtle Rift. Oh, huh, that's the weird. Second ish rift. Hmm. Well, since you said to pass, I won't push on it, even though I am immensely curious. I'll, huh. I'll tell you in limbo. Yeah, I, I do have I do have a bit of a grudge about Blind and Monty, but yeah, wrong place, wrong time. Who's someone famous and successful in the fandom that pissed you off the most? There's two, and I've already covered one of them, so I'm not going to talk about her again. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> right. DeWilstonator. <laughs> Oh, really? Whoa. I don't like Will at all. You be careful. That's Kichi's new waifu. <laughs> I, I dislike that he calls himself a voice actor when half of his voices are actually terrible. Oh, oh! The vinegar! I'm sorry, Will! I'm sorry! I, I already know 
that I am getting kicked out of Secret Rift after this. Oh, no, 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 that's your... Well, well, tell you what, Dark Edge, you know, before you just say that and move on, do do you have any points to, you know, just the fact that he doesn't have enough range in his voices? It's more that the voices he does have aren't that good. Like, his strong bad, if you've ever heard of Homestar Runner, his strong bad is terrible. There are millions of better people that can do Discord better. Did you ever hear his uh, the Joker he did for? Uh... Never heard of him doing the Joker. Yeah, he did it on uh, the MLP meets Batman. I think it is a. Uh, I forget the the name of the channel. Oh, that okay. was him. Yeah, I, I found that out too. I, I I was in the call when we were talking to the animator and Tomb Critic, and we, I looked up. I was like, "That was freaking Will." No, he's got some range if you know where to look. But I was gonna say, that didn't. Even, okay, I've got to disagree with you though. That didn't even sound like him then, Phil. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of uh, the animator. Do you know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, the, does it look like Superman. paper cutouts animator? Yes, like. that's the guy. But, yeah. yeah, I've seen the video, but I. I didn't know it was Will, and I can't remember what the Joker in it sounds like. Are you going to retroactively go back to hating the Joker role in it now? Oh, not that I know that it's Will. Mm. But, uh, uh, no. Toucan LDM, that's it. There it is. It sounds good, and if it sounds good, then I'll like it. If it sounds bad, then... All right. Okay, is there actually someone uh, in, well, horse famous that you actually like? Horse famous. I, I still watch AC Race Bests. Con vlogs and Bronies reacts. Those are the only two stuff by him that's worth what, watching, to be honest. What's your thoughts on I Love Kim Possible a uh... lot? Oh. <laughs> Come on, we've shit talked I, so many people. I have already. worked with, with KP on a project before. Oh, you have? The, the Fluttershy's Baby. Oh. I was a understudy for one of the characters in it. And the first video that went up, like, well, they they sent me a link with the credits video. Well, they, they linked it in the group chat, of the credits video with everyone's name in the credits, even the understudies. So I watched the whole credits video that was like five minutes long. And I was like, my name isn't in this. I was an understudy. What the fuck? Did they? Was... So I had to talk to, to someone there and they, I think they added it in. Hmm. But I, I never watched Flush Eyes Baby. So. To, to be honest with you, uh, a lot of people didn't want to be associated with it after it came out. Well, but here we have a new chapter of the KP controversy. Dark Edge didn't get his credit. Oh, you yeah. could have made a video and got well, a thousand views uh, easy, Dark yeah. Edge. K- KP's minimal promotion of the thing didn't help matters. So, yeah. so that I, actually, it yeah. did ironically in the exact opposite way. The fact that she didn't, and then a bunch yeah. of people started screaming the, about the, it. The funny thing, <laughs> well, yeah, is, but that's we, probably not. She was oh no no I'm not I'm not putting her over I'm just telling you in a reverse way it technically sort of kind of did. <laughs> the funny thing that is with that. <laughs> this is in a time when KP wasn't in the rift or anything anymore. Yeah no I she didn't last long I thought I got the script and I was told to that I wasn't meant to tell anyone so I told everyone. Oh you didn't Anthony. The secret done. project was. <laughs> I told absolutely everyone what this secret project And that because nobody cared. No. Yeah, nobody cared. I said it, in, the no one I said it in limbo. I said it in other chats that I was in. Well, I won't name right? drop the person. Oh, yeah. But I remember someone used to have Bon Bon's understudy for like the longest time. And I, I just... Mm. And I, I was like, oh, that's what that was. And that was from years ago. So anyways, Tyndaga has becoming a runaway hit after being on your channel, Fell. To a much lesser extent, Toon Critic putting him over. Do you think it's obvious that he got over so well? Is that why you chose to work with him? I, I just... I, the only reason I worked with him was because it fit the meme. <laughs> I wanted to make a John Cena meme. And the only person I could think of that would fit the, the three syllables? John Cena? Yeah, three syllable thing was, well... Ty and Dagger's four syllables. Mm. Exactly. But yeah, it's it, 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 So the meme sort matter. of works, but it also doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. This sounds like the Spinal Tap clip where the guy's like, this has to go up to ten. Do the regular ones go up to nine? <laughs> oh, it fits well enough. What? That's, That's the only it. reason I'll, I did that with uh, Ty what, and. What's the worst town in England? I want you to piss off some more people. <laughs> Don't you dare fucking say Kanak. Newcastle? Um, yeah, you, you can say whatever he um, wants. I could say Rawns because my ex lives there. Okay. But I'm going to go with Manchester. Oh, nice. I have to agree with him on that. 
years ago, I'm in the scouting movement, like Cubs, Beavers, yeah. Scouts. Uh, and uh, I went to a uh, camp up north, not at Manchester, but like in between. And there were a few scouts and cubs from manchester coming to that camp and the manchester cubs cheated me out of some money Ouch. because that's what manchester people do mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. so manchester wrong, people they're professional con artists pretty, yeah, much. pretty much we call those new yorkers in america <laughs> <laughs> um Crap. Oh. Yeah. Oh, what kind of cheating was it? Was it like um, <clears throat> uh, Joe Walker um, kind of it or Del Boy kind of it? It was like they had found something in the trash that looked cool to me at the time I was young. They were like, oh, give us a fiver and we'll give you it. So I was stupid and I was like, all oh, right. Oh, and uh, was like, oh here's okay, that kid. Hey, you've got this moldy now. sandwich. I was like, I want my fiver back now, and they wouldn't give it back. It was like papery umbrella thing that looked cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems stupid now, but... You paid five quid for a cocktail umbrella stick. It, it was a big one. It was like actual <laughs> umbrella size. Wow, it's your money. So, so anyways, yeah. quick, quick question here. If you could help British Ninja be great, and I know I'm asking a lot, like a lot, a lot... <laughs> What, what what does he need to do? What he needs to do is he needs to get a paper bag, all right? Uh-huh. Draw an acceptable looking face on it. <laughs> I, I, was, I say acceptable. He, he could draw a picture of Eric on it for all I care. Um, but yeah. draw, draw an acceptable looking face on it, upside down on the paper bag, so the opening of the paper bag is on the bottom. Then he needs to find Tommy and put that paper bag over her head. Oh my god! Holy Ooh. shit! Oh. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> and, and now Ninja hates me forever. Oh my god! Jesus. God, even, even I'm hurt. offended. I'm offended too, sir. Whoa. Ow. <laughs> oh, 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 there's a trigger That's warning going on this podcast. Jesus. I'm I'm just, how many people have you now. hated on in this video so far? <laughs> too many. I'm just imagining now Tommy Taco with a paper bag over her head with a smiley face on it. What? Oh, Jesus. And then she turns it round and it's an angry face looking <laughs> at me. She's not Box Monster, Jesus. <laughs> if you, I know you did a, you, you're the person I stole my real thoughts off of, the rift off of. Would you ever consider doing one of those for Limbo? <laughs> Ooh, um, no, I like too many people in Limbo. Oh, okay. It's like, I wouldn't get enough out of it. Like, I wouldn't get enough juicy stuff. From... <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd get a few lines about I know in there. Yeah. So, uh, you plan to do that video about editor. How is that coming along? No! I still need to work with, oh, with editor yes. about that. Dr. Foul shit list, where I just pick on people. You're, it's just an excuse for me to take the piss out of people. You're, you're currently taking Kichi under your wing, and it's no surprise. She's easily o- over a thousand subs. Oh, crap. I, I didn't realize Geeky was going to be in the call here. She's beating Geeky, Steven. Does it surprise you at all that the success and fame are just <laughs> no, drawn no. from you? <laughs> She's drawn success from me. I've <laughs> given you a chance to bullshit yourself a little bit, son. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, mean, I am the god of the analysis community. I mean, oh. it would make sense that anyone's fame eventually draws itself back to me. Oh, indeed. You know, and why was a nobody until Dark Edge came along? Let's be honest. Yeah, I mean, have you seen his video? He used to, the he used to have a beer belly. His hair was all a mess. You know, and Dark Edge here came in, gave him a breath mint, combed his hair, put, gave him an abyssizer. Legit- yeah. Only video, only video on AMY's channel worth watching is his video on the derpy controversy because I did the art for it. <laughs> Jesus. He okay. was looking for people to do art for his videos that he could like just quickly bullshit edit together and stick straight up. And I offered to do art for one of them, and I picked the derpy controversy. I have to watch that now. <laughs> okay, it okay. is legit. It's amazing. W- real quick Picasso here. Levels. Oh no, I'll surrender it. Oh, Speaking of which. Did- let me, let me do it. Oh, Speaking what? of which, you've graced Kichi with your magnificence. What projects are you working on with her? Well, I'm I'm the main character of the Oz project. Oh, indeed. Uh, that's, I'm um, looking forward to that. I believe... I might even put this off until that comes out, just because I'll get more views that way. I will make... Dar- we will make Dark Edge relevant for about a week. <laughs> <laughs> for about a week, you will be the hottest thing ever. I will write in some special scenes for you. And then, and then people I'm, will get to Dark Edge's channel and then it'll... Remember, <laughs> kids. Yeah. Oh, makes. 
Chicken's great again. Yes. Chicken lives matter. I need to check the Dr. Fow script because I might have written Kichi some lines in it. I might not have. I need to double check it. Well, yep. you could always edit her. All right, Tricky, you're, uh, you're up. Ha- <laughs> well, I'm all out of gas, so it's all you guys if you got anything left. Nope, I don't really think so. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you for everybody tuning in. Uh, hope to see you soon.